Okay, that last video cut me off a little bit, but that's all right. Basically, I wanted to show you your next tool, which is you click on the image and look here, you can crop it. So of course, like this map is way too big. It's way more than uh, downriver, but region six, when you're looking at a regional map of Michigan, that's the greater downriver area. So I can actually trim it like this. See how I've cropped it and hit a check mark. And then now I have this image to work with if I wanted to do arrows and things like that. Something else on elements I wanted to show you guys. See here under shapes. When you click on shapes and you wait a few seconds, you have a lot of different shapes you can work with. These are really good for kind of making like if you are doing the one with Mrs. McCooch where you have to highlight things that she said, you could almost make like a speech box of things that she said, like a speech bubble or stars. Stars would be kind of cool, I think. But um, just kind of showing you guys some symbols, things that I was looking at um, to kind of utilize. Post-its would look kind of cool too for that one. Um, that's for shapes. Going back to elements, there's also lines. So sometimes you want to use a line. Maybe you want to underline an idea. You really want to draw a fact to something. Okay, so some really cool lines to utilize here. Maybe you want to connect ideas. Okay, this is where I used my arrows. So I dragged and dropped arrows going from um, cities that enrolled into Wyandotte Public Schools. So this is where I found my arrows at to do my example. Also, there's illustrations. So when you click this button, you wait a second. And these are just like things that are cool graphics. You want to make sure it relates. Like I'm obviously not going to put a graphic of a hamburger on my slide if I'm not really talking about hamburgers. I'm trying to sell our school district and really um, promote it. Free photos. This will be a good one if you're talking about students or how many papers and things like that. These might be some good stock photos that you might be able to use. Okay, I just want to kind of show some of these. Something I thought was really great are these icons. Okay. This is a really neat one, like a clipboard, a person. These are ones that you might want to utilize for this, especially when we're talking about migration, global image, the compass, some more really great arrows to use. I saw some people the other day, they were hitting search and they were typing in bar graph or things like that. Do not do that. Go to elements and use your elements feature and really use the thing that says charts because that's what's going to help you a whole lot in shapes. If you want to put a frame around it, you can. Some people have done an incredible job. I'm so proud of you. When you get done and you have it checked over, please check your spelling, check your capitalization. Then you're going to hit share right here, and you're going to type in Miss Trudell's email. Okay, I think it's both L's. I want to just double check real quick. Let me see. Trudell. Let me make sure I'm right. One L. Okay, so Trudell D at WY dot K12 dot MI dot US. Then you hit send. Now she can access it. So it's going to be great because we don't want to print all these because that will be a major waste of ink. We're going to vote on the best ones. The best ones will be published. Those ones will be printed. But Ms. Trudell and myself want to have access to these so that we can see them. Okay, that's all. And I just wanted to share some other really cool features about Canva with you guys. Thank you for listening to me. And if you're kind of wondering why my voice is like this, like secretive, whispery voice, it's because I have two children under the age of three and they are both asleep and I don't want them to wake up.